Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the Flipgrid updates for the 2021-2022 school year. This first update is my absolute favorite because if you're like me, I am always looking for fun and engaging ways to get students really excited to do their work. So this first thing I'm going to show you is the addition of new lenses. And I apologize in advance because my lips uh, are not going to be synced up to the sound because I'm using two different uh, systems here. So uh, you'll see now when you're on the mobile device, you'll see this tiny little uh, icon, which is like a smiling face emoji. If you click on that, there are all these fun different lenses that you can use. And you don't need a green screen. I just happen to be in the studio. Uh, but... This is just a really cool way. I was actually playing with these a little uh, little while ago before I started filming. And my seven-year-old daughter came in and saw what I was doing. She's like, Dad, I want to play with that. Uh, and that's kind of one of the ideas, right, is to get your students really excited to get in and kind of play with some of these things. Uh, because it's fun, right? These are things they're familiar with and Snapchat and some of those other things. So uh, this is one of the first big additions. And there's a bunch of these different filters that the students can just have fun with um, and they can kind of play around with you know, depending on whatever the assignment is that they're working on. The next update I'm going to show you will be really familiar to you if you've been using Google Meet or Zoom. It's the ability to bring in your own backdrop. So you can either blur the background. You can use one of the preloaded backgrounds that uh, Flipgrid has already installed. And they do have a whole bunch of these that are really fun that you can kind of play around with. Or you have the ability to add in your own photo or video as a background, which is a really neat idea, especially when students are kind of demonstrating what they've learned. They can show something in the background or you as a teacher can put up some material and you can show that and you can do you know, this thing where you kind of shrink yourself into one of the corners by clicking on one of these buttons or you can move yourself in the center. So to upload is really simple to just click on this. And then once you've uploaded the picture or video behind you, then you can kind of talk about it. You can point to things and you just use it as if it was something that was behind you. And it's just another really engaging way to kind of get students involved in the learning. Another really fun update is now when you go into effects, you can add in animated GIFs. So you can type what you're looking for in the, in the search bar here and then find a little preview of what it is you're looking for. Uh, so we'll just add in Dancing Winnie the Pooh. And I can move this around. I can make this bigger or smaller. And just kind of when combining that with the background, uh, with some of the other effects, you know, I can add in any text, uh, any kind of filters. It's just a really, really fun way to really uh, bring the learning to life for students in a way that's meaningful to them uh, and in a way that they will appreciate and get really excited about. So now I've just recorded a sample video and I do want to show you this other really great addition, which is the ability to add in music. So when you click add music, you can choose from different uh, genres. So there's chill, fun, energetic, inspiring, sentimental, and cinematic. And you can preview those just by clicking on any one of them. So this is one of my favorite ones just because I love how epic it is. So to use that, all I have to do is click on the plus sign. Welcome to today's video where I'm sharing with you the new updates for Flipgrid and I'm using this as an example video so I can show you how to add in music. Welcome to today's video. So this is just an example of how you can use the music. Uh, but I know Flipgrid is all about student voice and having the ability to add in the music, have their own backgrounds, adding in the lenses and the filters, having the animated pictures. Uh, these all work together to really give students that voice that's their own and allow them to demonstrate their learning and share with the world their personalities. Uh, so I love all of these updates and I love when you start to put them together, there's just so many different possibilities that didn't exist before. If you're familiar with my work or the videos that I've created for this YouTube channel, you know that I'm a huge proponent of student choice. I believe that powerful learning really happens when you give students the ability to demonstrate their learning in a way that's meaningful to them. And that's one of the things that first attracted me to Flipgrid many years ago is I saw that they were all about student voice 
and really amplifying that student's voice. And so I believe these updates uh, with the lenses, with the backgrounds, with the animated pictures, with the music, uh, all take that to the next level. And anytime you have students excited to do their work, having fun while they're doing their work, uh, I just, I don't think it gets any better than that. So uh, I love these updates. Uh, I think that you will too. Uh, so if you know of any teachers that might benefit from watching this video, please, please, please feel free to share this with them. Uh, and make sure you check out the links in the description below for other fun tutorials and videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show yet, please take a second and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.